what I like about my business is that we own the moulds, we own the products and the intellectual property and the design rights, we own the distribution channel and those customers are my customers. We've got a small tube of plastic that comes down like a drain pipe. So it's got bulk and liquid plastic. And then the mould closes around it. That's our blow pin goes down and blows it up like a balloon. And, and that mould is very cold. It has reticulated, nearly freezing water going through it. It freezes the plastic, basically. And then the offcuts go back into our shippers and then get re-put back. There's no waste there. It's expensive game, basically. So I'm going to spend half a million dollars in the next year, I guess, on some new machinery. It's a bit of money. You know, sure it might be printing money, ah, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, but it's <laughs> running on a $500,000 machine. It takes quite a few of them to pay that off. That, that's the eco bucket there. And being a bit recycled, sometimes you might have a couple of different types of plastic. And I know where that black's coming from. That we got some black ice cream containers from another manufacturer and they were going to be dumped because the, the labelling... But we changed it from a $1 bucket to a $2 bucket margin in it for everyone because you've got to make money and the supermarkets that were carrying it were unsure but they thought oh, I'll give it a will and they sold more. Yeah, so it's a 20 litre cube jerry can and it's both food grade and dangerous goods certified where some products coming in from overseas you're not sure if you can trust them and my jerry can could go to Antarctica and sits on the back of a, some lifter on the back of the Hercules <laughs> falls off and bounces. But we drilled holes in it and it becomes a Hurden strawberry planter. So it might attend locally. I listened to the market and our customers said we we want to attend. And so I sent out an email to all my customers and got the feedback, so we invested in it and, and now we do a lot. There's the baby being born right now. Another local manufacturer had ooh, eight or ten tons of plastic got contaminated with water. It was only water, but it flowed into their, their plastic bulk things. And they, the insurance company came to us and said, well, would you buy this plastic or would you take this plastic because we're just going to dump it. So we got this plastic, so it didn't go to the landfill and it's going to go into our bucket. We're human beings, so I like dealing with humans and people and family and family businesses. And, and I have two little children and I want them to to um, that the world that I get to them is better than the world that I found it. I think about our customers, because I think about my customers, I'm a, a local, they're my friends, I like them, I think, oh, where, you know, where would they get it made? Because I may be the only one in this country that could make that product for them.